Hello and welcome to our show, 60 Seconds with Sergio. I am your host, Sergio Cabanas, attorney at law here in Florida. Thank you for joining me today. Today's question is, Sergio, I'm creating an estate plan and I need to choose a legal guardian for my minor children. What's the best way of choosing a legal guardian? First, let's be clear about the question. You're creating, for example, a last will and testament, and you want to decide who you want to take on the responsibility of basically being a legal parent for your minor children in the event of your death. That person will be making important decisions on how to raise your children for many years to come, often caring for them every day, making all of the decisions for the children that range from health care to education to religion and more. As an attorney and as a father myself, I believe this is one of the most important decisions a parent can make in his or her life. So let me commend you for understanding the importance of this question and researching this topic carefully, including, of course, watching this video. So let's get back to the question. What's the best method of choosing your legal guardian? I would start with making a short list of people you know, like, and trust who you think would do the best job of raising your children. Keep in mind that that guardian could be anybody you know, like, and trust. That person can be a family member, but he or she does not have to be a family member. You should choose somebody who shares your moral and religious beliefs so that these values can be instilled in your children in the best way possible. That person should be someone you can trust to make these important decisions that will benefit your children. Then I would carefully consider that person's ability to take on this responsibility. Keep in mind their age, health status, and financial abilities. I understand that the natural instinct for many people is to name their parents as potential legal guardians, but you should consider their age and health. Keep in mind that as the children go through this process, they are already dealing with a disruption relating to the loss of their parent. So we should do everything reasonably possible to avoid their having to deal with yet another loss in their lives before they become adults. Once you decide on the potential guardian, speak to that person. You want to make sure he or she is willing and able to take on this responsibility. Obviously, you should not choose someone who's not willing to take on that responsibility even if you think that person may change his or her mind. Try to avoid naming married couples as guardians. You should choose individuals instead. This could help avoid a lot of unnecessary problems in the event they separate or divorce. You should name an individual to be a primary guardian and two or three alternate guardians in the event the primary guardian is not able or willing to take on this responsibility. Finally, if the ultimate guardian resides far from where the children currently reside, you should name someone who can take temporary custody of the children immediately and care for them on an emergency basis until they can be placed with the permanent guardian. I hope this short video provided you with at least some guidance about making these important decisions. Thank you again for joining me today, and as always, stay informed so you can stay strong.